Well, welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up four, NASDAQ up 108, S&P's up 17 and a half. Gold, gold contract down to $12.30, 2,032 an ounce. We have silver up 34 cents, 22 dollars 81 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 70 cents, 75 dollars 7 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10-year note. Down seven ticks, trading 11031. The 30 year off 18 ticks at 11908 and King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading down 392 ticks, 103,224. Euros at 108. Yen's trading out here at a price point of 147. The British pound is at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? Let's go to the world of the four agreements first. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is all mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To practice a relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market-wise out here, let's take a look at it. This is what we have, folks, okay? So we're going to go right over to the dollar first. Well, actually, I want to look, I want to look at the bonds, because I want to see what time this happened. And see if the bonds move in the dollar or the dollars move in the bond. Okay, so what we have out here, we had the 10 year, that started, uh, okay, right at 10 o'clock. So it started going down at 10 o'clock, and then we go to the dollar. But the dollar is getting pounded. And we look at the dollar. And that didn't start going. What was that? 11 o'clock. Interesting. So that's that going up at 11 o'clock. So that's saying, okay, so that's saying that it's the bond, it would, which would make sense, okay? So that's saying the bond market basically fell apart first. Didn't f f fall apart, but what you have here is that you, you've had the bond market coming into its strength. Let's pull this up. Take a look at this, baby. Okay, so right now you get 1.7 million contracts. We're going into, you know, 2.3 million. This is, the, you know, this is the strength on the way up. It was trying to get out of this area today. Now, what you do have is this. Now, watch this. This is actually bullish. This is crazy, man, but this is bullish, okay? And what it is is this. We do have an expansion of volume, and we actually took out the high from two days ago. So as long as you don't take out the low from four days ago, three days ago, the bottom line, before the close I'm talking about, that's actually still bullish saying that, okay, it's going to go right back topside. We go over to the S&Ps, you're going to see that, you know, the last couple of days, <clears throat> what had happened is that the dollar didn't have any movement and the S&Ps were still going. But they were the, the, the tragic. They, they, they just, they weren't going like they normally go, like they went this morning, okay? <clears throat> that being said, so what we have is this is that you had the S&P get all the way up to the 4933. You're at 4910. And what you're going to do here, and the S&P, yeah, this still wants to get tested. If this can get tested in the next few 10-minute bar, then you're going to have a shot at higher price once again. But that bar wants to get tested. We almost tested it on the, the bar right afterwards, meaning 50 minutes ago. But that bar is sticking out. It's 51,000 contracts down at that bar. Let me go to the NQs and take a look at the NQs. Okay, so the NQs set up the same way. Oh, I see. No, the NQs aren't set up the same way. One second. So the NQs don't have to actually get down there. This is interesting because the NQs, what they did is that they, they came down to the bar from yesterday morning. They came down with uh, 19,000 versus 34. Let me go back to the S&P, because the S&P might have done the same thing, and I just missed that. One second. This would be a trip if this is what this, it's doing. Okay, so... So we broke that level. No, it's not the same not the same because we came down with 55 yeah so there's two different setups here the S&P would have to test this low here first before going higher now the NQs don't have to that's the other side of it that's how this is set up right now we go take a look at the gold contract 
Gold contract was catching the bid, gave it up in spades. We take a look at this contract right here. You had a high of 2037, a low of 2011. You're trading closer to the low is 2014. That had 2.223,000 contracts traded. This still needs a bid. Now, this is doing the same thing as the bonds are doing, meaning it's going against the strength. But the bottom line is it needs the bid. If we go take a look at the copper market, now the cop copper market wants higher price. You know, this is, the copper market has, has been in this ABC structure up to 405. It failed the first time. It got to uh, 387. But now you can see the strength is coming in again inside the copper market. You're at eight over, you're up eight pennies right now. If we take a look at uh, Chaseco TGB, that's a big copper stock. Uh, bottom line, you can see that's getting price spread out here today. You get volume behind the move. We're trading at uh, 140, and that is a high volume high here that's laying out there at 165 that it wants to get tested. Let me put this on a weekly. Yeah, you know, this, this is a classic, man. This is actually a classic. This is a pretty cool setup. So if you're watching Tiger TV, you're going to see um, the bottom line is that let's do this. It's always cool when these things come in like this. Okay, so what you're going to see, you had strength in December. Uh, this is last December, last January. You, cut, you pull back down with light volume. You had a nice sign of strength about six weeks ago. You come back and test it with lighter volume. That's saying, this is saying that 196 is game inside uh, to Seiko. And if we go to SCCO, which is Southern Copper, I suspect we're going to see a nice looking chart on that too. So Southern Copper is trading 83.62. I'm going to put this on a monthly because I think this is near, yeah, it's near its highs. This wants to take out its highs. So whatever has happened in the copper market, you know, is, of course, good for copper metals, metals, companies that are in the copper business, no doubt about that. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 47, Nasdaq's up 78, S&P's up 9. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.